Hello, welcome to another video. This is Impact Frames, and in this video, I'm going to talk about my new extension for Automatic 1111 that uh, helps you to make prompts inside a Stable Diffusion from Webuga. And you can use my three characters that I made for making prompts. And this new character that I'm going to release, if this video hits like uh, 50 likes, I'm going to release this new character that made non safe for work prompts. And as you can see here, an example of it. And there are more, but they are very... Uh, I cannot show them in... in <laughs> I cannot show this stuff in YouTube, okay? But you can use it and make your own things. Also, you can uh, modify this character. If you don't like girls, you can modify it for your liking. I show you how to make a character in the last video and it's a similar process. You can just copy the things that I did in this character. You can read it and then you can make your own with your own uh, with, with your own likes and dislikes. Okay. I don't know how it's the name preferences. Okay. I'm gonna explain you a bit how to install this thing and also talk about the new automatic 1111, which is a beast now this thing is a beast i can do these eight pictures in this 1390 in 30 seconds and that's amazing because i could take five minutes before or something like that but now you can make eight pictures in like 30 40 seconds in a 1390 and that's because they installed the new torque 2.0 and they also stored the uh, token merch and to install this script, you can come here into the store from the URL. I'm going to give you the URL and you just install it from here, okay? Then we are going into the settings. And in the settings, you're going to find if from maker. And in here, you're going to have also, apart from this, in here, you have to put your character folder, okay? So you come here in your character, you just copy this thing and just copy it fr from here, from this address and paste it here. And it will take all your JSON files, but you can only use the, the ones that make prompts because they are, I don't know if the other characters will work well. So these characters are especially to make a stable diffusion prompts. And there is this additional character that I have here that is not mine. But it's a YAML file, I cannot use it, but if you make this character a JSON file, you can use it with this script too, because it's for every character. So if you make your own character, you just put it here and you can use it. So now you go into text to image. And this thing is going to be in in both image to image and text to image and you're going to find it in the scripts and it's going to be called if prom maker you can select which uh, model you like like which character you like as you can see it's taking all my characters inside the thing that are json files and in here you can put the prom prefix that normally this will be embeddings like the textual inversion embeddings also, or something important that you want to put here uh, at the beginning of the prompt. Like I put solo and one girl. That's uh, important. And these are like the keywords for my embedding. Then here I have um, Demoness Princess. And then you can read this <laughs> very tone up stuff. And then Red Hair Woman. Okay, so this is all it needs to construct the full prompt. Then you have here the suffix that is better to add loras here. Like you can add the, the lora weights if you don't have the additional networks. And then the negative prompt. But basically all it needs to make the prompt with Ubabuga is these keywords here. And these ones are not considered by Ubabuga. The only one that is considered is the input prompt. And Ubabuga will construct the prompt around this phrase that you put here. So normally you will put the subject as an action. So you put the subject maybe with your weights even here, like you can put 1.4 and then comma and then your action. Or maybe some description more that you want to do. 
And then you can use uh, the normal stable diffusion settings here. You can put batch count to batch size, everything there. I'm using something really cool that you need to check out because this is super amazing. This is a, a script called After Detailer, AD Tailor, that it will help you to, when you're making the images, it will add detail in the hands if you select the molds for the hand or for the face. So this is something extra. This is not my script, but this is a super script that you have to have. But this is amazing because it does automatically perfect your image. And I cannot show you these very super spicy pictures. <laughs> but then you can see them in my in my CV type page. I'm gonna release my images there in the CV type page and you can come here and see the nasty things that I do naughty. <laughs> but then yeah, you can also find my script here in my impact frames page. And yeah, also I'm gonna talk about the model before I go. I'm using a Wizard Vicuña 13 billion sensor GPT cube because I have the MPT. You can use MPT also, but this one is a lot faster. Like the 90 tokens took me 10 seconds to make. And so this 90 tokens for the thing, it took like 10 seconds to make 11 seconds. And with the batch size and everything in 30 seconds. So it's super fast now. You can see that I'm in 36 steps, not, not that big, but 512 by 678. The quality of the picture is amazing. Of course, if you add the add detailer, it will take more time. But if you only count the base pictures, it's just 30 seconds. The add detailer, it will take a lot longer. But yeah. I think it's worth it. It's a super cool thing. And thank you for watching.